let's move to the subtopic 1.3 for techniques of integration for method 3 partial fractions learning outcomes at the end of the lesson students should be able to find the indefinite integral by using partial fractions let's do some revision for partial fractions first there are fx over gx where power of fx less than gx there are three types of factors of the denominator first one we call it as linear factors second is repeated linear factors and the last one is quadratic factors let's move to the example one when we have the denominator as a linear factor here linear factor when we change it to the partial fraction it becomes a over x minus 1 plus b over x plus 2 partial fraction form also known as decomposition form and the other one when we have repeated linear factors here and our partial fraction become a over x plus b over x plus minus 1 plus c over x minus 1 square and for third example we have quadratic factors here now we switch it to the partial fraction form it becomes a over x plus bx plus c over x square plus x plus 1 take note that the constant of a b c and so on can be determined by substituting the suitable values for x or by comparing the coefficients integration of rational functions by using partial fractions what is rational functions any functions in the form fx over gx where fx and gx are polynomial how to find the integration of fx over gx dx using partial fractions bear your mind to Factorize the denominator of the partial fraction first. Example 1. Find the integration of 5 over x, 1 minus x. Solution. First of all, we need to express it into a partial fractions form, which is equal to a over x plus b over 1 minus x and then simply get 5 equal to a 1 minus x plus bx in order to get the value of a and b we substitute it x equal to 1 and then we will get b equal to 5 when we substitute x equal to 0 our a equal to 5 so now we move to the our real problem the integration of 5 over x 1 minus x dx equal to integration of 5 over x plus 5 over 1 minus x dx now take out 5 become 5 integration of 1 over x dx plus 5 the integration of 1 over 1 minus x dx now when we integrate it we will get 5 ln modulus x 
minus 5 ln modulus 1 minus x plus c. And the last one, we factor out 5. We will get this is our last answer. Example 2. Use the method of partial fraction to find integration of 2x minus 1 over x squared minus 2x minus 3 dx. First of all, we look at the denominator. We have to factorize it. When we factorize it, we will get the linear factors here so our decomposition form is a over x plus 1 plus b over x minus 3 then we simply get 2x minus 1 equal to a x minus 3 b x plus 1 then we have to find the value of a and b by using substitution method when we substitute x equal to 3 we will get b equal to 5 over 4 and then when we substitute x equal to negative 1 a we will get 3 over 4 Now, our integration become the integration of 3 over 4 x plus 1 dx plus integration of 5 over 4 x minus 3 dx. Then we integrate it. We will get 3 over 4 ln modulus x plus 1 plus 5 over 4 ln modulus x minus 3 plus c. Example 3. Find the integration of x plus 1 over 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 dx. When we factorize the denominator, we have x plus 1 over 2x minus 1 square and it classified as repeated linear factor so our partial fraction form is a over 2x minus 1 plus b 2x minus 1 square then we simply get x plus 1 equal to a 2x minus 1 plus b. By using substitution method, we substitute x equal to 1, then we will get b equal to 3 over 2. When we substitute x equal to 0, we will get a equal to 1 over 2. Now, we get... 1 over 2, 2x minus 1, plus 3 over 2, 2x minus 1 square. So then we integrate it. Integrate it. It becomes 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 ln modulus 2x minus 1, plus 3 over 2 times negative 1 over 2. 2x minus 1 power of negative 1 plus c then our answer become 1 over 4 ln modulus 2x minus 1 minus 3 over 4 2x minus 1 plus c example 4 find the integration of 5x square plus 4x plus 12 over x plus 2 times x square plus 4 and our denominator is classified as quadratic factors so that we have our partial fraction form as a 
over x plus 2 plus bx plus c over x squared plus 4. Now we simply get 5x squared plus 4x plus 12 equal to a times x squared plus 4 plus bx plus c times x plus 2. Now when we perform the substitution method, when x equal to negative 2, we will get a equal to 3. When we perform substitution method x equal to 1, we will get b equal to 2. Then when we substitute x equal to 0, we will get c equal to 0. Hence, our decomposition form is 3 over x plus 2 plus 2x over x squared plus 4. Then we integrate it. When we integrate it, we will have 3 ln modulus x plus 2 plus ln modulus x squared plus 4 plus c as our answer.